Hello and welcome to Classic Modern Retro. This is a classic car detailing studio dedicated to classic cars and all sorts of vehicles. Now today, with the association with Classic Line Insurance, we're gonna be detailing this lovely TVR 3000M and showing you step-by-step -step how to look after your classic. This car is in for a machine polish and ceramic coating, which is a more professional side of detailing. We can show you a bit of that later on. But so today, let's get this TVR outside and start cleaning it. I know the TVR is outside. Let's talk about what products we're gonna use. So first off, we've got our snow foam and our snow foam lance. Now snow foam is designed to drag all the loose dirt off the surface. So when you do your bucket wash, you don't scratch your paint. Now here's the buckets we're gonna use. We've got two buckets. One is with your car shampoo and one is your rinse bucket. This will have clean water in it. Both have got grit guards in, so you don't scratch your paint. Wheel bucket, separate to your wash bucket. Lots of different brushes for different types of wheels. Now we're gonna be using a pre-wash, which is in a foam pump sprayer. Two different types of wheel cleaners we can use. This is a pH balance one for say every week or every month, a regular one. And then once a month you would use a brake dust remover, which is a, a fallout product, which we're gonna use on this TVR today. Uh, as this is in for a ceramic coating, we're using a decon shampoo to strip any waxes or old sealants off. A bug remover, a tire cleaner, which we're gonna use today. And basically, that is all the kit that you're gonna need. So we don't know the history of these wheels, so we're gonna be using an iron remover to remove the brake dust, which will turn purple once it's done its reaction. This is not necessary for every time you wash your car, but we've got a degreaser pre-wash in here. And we're gonna foam the wheel arches to get rid of all that road grime. So we clean the tires with the tire cleaner and a stiff brush. Now this is a good thing to do if you're applying new tire shine. It gives you a fresh surface for your tire shine to bond to, which makes it last longer. We agitate the wheel cleaner. As you can see, it's turned purple. So that's removing the brake dust from your wheels. So one thing to note when detailing the Classic, don't use a pressure washer that's really high power. I could change the pressure of this one. And stay away from any sharp edges with the pressure washer, just in case the paint is sensitive. Right, now, now the wheels are done, we're gonna snow foam the vehicle. The snow foam is designed to drag any heavy deposits and dirt off the vehicle onto the floor, so that when you do your bucket wash, you've got less chances of scratching your car. So, with the snow foam, there's lots of different ones on the market. We're a pH neutral one, really, and an inch in the bottom of your snow foam lance and the rest water. So one of the things to note with classic cars is they're not all watertight. You've got gaps in doors, panel gaps, engine bays, boot lids, and sometimes the rubber seals aren't as good as they used to be. So what we've got to take a note of that is don't spray directly into the gaps or onto the seals and just put a nice coat of snow foam over the entire vehicle. With all detailing products, the worst thing you can do is let them dry. So a day like today, you can give your snow foam two or three minutes to do its job. On a hot day, sort of a minute, minute and a half. But if you start to see it dry, start rinsing it off. Now the snow foam's done, it's a good time to check for bugs and sap, which we had a little bit on this, being it's a low nose car. And we're using a citrus-based bug and grime remover. And this is safe for all paints and um, if you've got a wax or a ceramic on your car. It's a good job. 
Put them on the mirrors as well. And you give that two or three minutes and rinse your bugs away. All right, we've got our two buckets ready. Fresh water for our rinse and our shampoo in this one. Now, this is what we normally use for anything general detailing wise or vitamin wise. This is just a pH neutral shampoo. As soon as this car is getting a ceramic coating, we're gonna be using a strip wash decon shampoo. So we're using the decon shampoo because if, as you can see, this car is beading a little bit. So that suggests there is a wax or sealant on the car. And as we're machine polishing this car, we wanna remove as much of that as possible. So we've put about 30 mils in our uh, wash bucket. Now we're gonna foam it up with a pressure washer. Now we're ready to do our bucket wash. Get lots of nice suds on there. Washing straight lines. Stay away from all your big door gaps and stuff. Now we're gonna do roughly to about there. Chuck that one in your clean water bucket. Pick up another mitt. Lots of nice suds. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way around the vehicle, doing a panel, flipping the wash mitt and then putting it in your clean water to rinse any dirt off and rubbing it on the grit guard. Let that one sit in there. A little suds on my face. And then carry on around the vehicle. So we're using wash mitts today because the old school methods of using sponges is actually quite abrasive to your paint. And that's where sometimes your swirls and scratches and dullness comes from. It's harsh chemicals and rough sponges. And then we rinse it off. Now the car has been safely detailed. We're gonna bring it inside and show you two different methods of drawing your car. So now we're gonna dry the car, and the old school method of this was to get your chamois out and dry the car with a chamois. Now that is one of the factors in swirled and scratch paint, believe it or not, is a chamois cough. So today we've got a lovely soft drying towel, and we're also gonna use uh, air, which we'll show you that as well, to dry a vehicle. Now, very easy, jump on the car, let it absorb the water, and pull it off. We'll go around the vehicle, glass, everything like that, and dry the vehicle off. Not a central bit of kit, but a car dryer is a lot of fun. Now the vehicle has been safely washed and dried, it's a great time to put on some protection, like a wax or a sealant. Now this vehicle is in for a machine polish and a ceramic coating. Now that's something we suggest a professional detailer to do because it can go wrong and it can cause a lot of expensive damage to your car's paint. Especially this vehicle, as it's fiberglass, it's gonna be a very tricky one to machine polish properly. But having said that, most things you can do DIY at home, and get great results. Special thanks to Classic Line Insurance, and if you have any questions on how to detail your classic, comment below. Thanks for watching.